Hello everyone. Today we are going to calculate the validity coefficient in Microsoft Excel and we will also interpret its value. Now what is validity coefficient or it is also called a correlation coefficient and it is uh, represented by R and it indicates the degree of relationship between two set of measures. Now the important thing here is what are the two set of measures. So in this case we have a uh, we have a data that uh, I have already uh, um, uh, written here. So here we have we have the midterm score of the 10 students, final score of the 10 students and project score of the 10 students. Now what we want to do, we want to calculate its validity coefficient. Now why do we need to calculate the validity coefficient? Because we need to find the relationship between these scores that whether midterm score and final score are related to each other in, in what way they are related to each other in a way that if we uh, can we say that the high score in midterm is predicts the high score in final score or can we see that can we say that the high score in final uh, in final uh, predict the high score in project so it is all about prediction that we are going to make here depending on the relationship between the two type of scores so after calculating the value of r we will predict it as well so we will move towards the calculation of r how we can calculate the validity coefficient in excel so here we have a data as i'm going to find the comparison of between midterm and final score so i will just pick the data of midterm and final score so i'll just copy this data and i will paste it because we have to make the calculations here so this is the data of 10 students x represents the midterm score of each student and y represents the final score of each student so here what we have to do why i have written x y x square and y square this is because if we move towards the formula of r this is the formula of validity coefficient and here n is the um, is the total number of students but what we need to calculate is sum of x y we need sum of x and sum of y so what we have is x and y are here so we can easily do sum of x here sum of y here and then sum of x into y then we have we need x into y then here we need x square and here we need y square so it all depends on the formula what we need so here's the formula and you will always need these three or you can say these five columns to calculate the validity coefficient or uh, validity coefficient while compa comparing two set of scores so what i will do first i will calculate x into y by multiplying them like this by static and then i'll select the y and we'll press enter and if you want to move this formula to the rest you just need to drag this plus sign down and you will get the rest of the values as well then we have to find x square again we need to apply the formula we need to multiply the x with itself like again i will select the same i will press enter and it will give you the value of x square and i will just drag it down to calculate the rest as well same is the case for y this is y i have to multiply the y with itself and this is what we will get so we have calculated the value of x square, x y x square and y square now what do we need is the sum of these values we cannot use these values as directly so if I write here, so what I will get, I will get the sum of x. So for, for the symbol of sum, I will go to the symbol and I will select this and I will add this. Sum of, I will close it. This is the summation sign and I will write x here. So sum of x will be here and I will copy this and paste it in the next. And here what we will find, what we will get, it's sum, it will be sum of y. Now keep this in my mind, sometimes when you insert a symbol, you, whatever you write in that cell, it will give you in the form of symbol. So I have to change it by clicking, by selecting it, then move to this and I have to select the font to some other else that can give you the exact alphabet. So sum of X, sum of Y and I will again write here as it will be sum of x into y again i was writing x and it is giving me symbol i will select it i will change its type to calibri or time new roman or whatever the font you want so it will make it sum of x y then again i will write here sum of x square and here we will have y square so these are the things that we need in the formula of um, validity coefficient so how to get the sum of x equal to sign sum of data from here this close and enter so it is the sum of all these values now if i want the sum of these columns as well i can just drag it like this 
and it will give us the sum of the rest of the as well you need not to apply the formula on each and every cell so we have calculated these values the last step is just we need to put the values in this formula for this what i will do i will select it i will again paste it and i will just i will just put the values here so n is 10 I will put 10 here then sum of xy what is sum of xy sum of xy is 2304.9 or i will take it as 2305 so it will be 2305 minus sum of x what is sum of x sum of x is 149 so i will replace sum of x into sum of y with 149 and they are multiplying with sum of uh, sum of x and sum of y are multiplying so 149 into 148 then again here in the denominator we have n i will replace n with 10 then sum of x square sum of x square is 2339 so i will replace it with 2339 then minus sum of x whole square so what is sum of x sum of x is 149 we will take its whole square so i'll just replace sum of x with 149 steric 149 or in other words you can also take the square and then this will be closed and another parenthesis will start like as above in the formula n is replaced by 10 then we have sum of y square so sum of y square is 2323.88 so i can take it as 2324 and uh, then i will close it then minus summation of y whole square what is summation of y that is 148 whole square so i will write 148 steric 148 or we can also take its square and then i'll close it so what we have to do keep this in mind that the square root is on the entire denominator so once you calculate the data inside the denominator you will take the square root at the end so what i have calculated here is after calculation r is equals to 0 0.79 so the value of r is like 0 0.79 so what it is showing as i have already written here that the validity coefficient can range from minus 1 to plus 1 so here we have the plus 0 0.79 so positive re relationship shows that the score on one test type is there is there, there is a chance that it can measure the score on another test type so here it is uh, plus 0 0.79 and it is near to 1 and it is also positive so we can say that there exists a positive relationship between between what between midterm and the final score because we are, we are comparing midterm and the final score we are not comparing it with the project score so i can write here that there exists a positive relationship between this is the interpretation of this r value between what between midterm and final score this shows that high score in midterm can can predict the high score in in project so this is how we can um, uh, we can find or we can calculate the then the validity coefficient r and we can interpret its value this is the result or you can say this is the interpretation of this value that there exists a positive relationship between the midterm and final score and this shows that high score in midterm can predict the high score in project so similarly if you have other um, type of uh, assessments or uh, or scores you can find the relationship by just using this formula and you always need to make these five columns for the um, for this r uh, uh, for this formula of r so if you know how to calculate it it will be easier so that's all from today's lecture thank you